what's up y'all welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hello and welcome in today's video we are going to be playing with the new halloween 2 collection from glam light i'm excited about this one because halloween is one of my favorite horror movie franchises i have seen every single movie as well as the remakes and yes that does include the rob zombie version which unpopular opinion i actually really liked but i was really disappointed when glam light didn't give us a halloween collection last year so when they announced it this year i jumped all over it now i did not get everything in the collection. I only got the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter. They did have some lip products, some mirrors, and a bag, but I didn't feel like I needed that. So we're going to go over the products that I picked up. I'm going to show you the other things in this collection, and then we're going to create two looks. So let's start off with the eyeshadow palette. This is the box that it comes in, and I think this box is so incredibly cool. I'm actually going to keep it because it's like a keepsake box. And when you open it up this way, the palette lays in here, and you've got this really cool kind of picture up here. And and I think it's really, really cool. But the palette itself looks like this. We have our lenticular motion with Michael Myers crying, the pumpkin in the background, and our color story in here is so incredibly beautiful. I love the oranges and the blues in here with some pops of neutrals. This is a 15 pan palette. It does retail for $34, and I'm excited about this. This may be my favorite color story that they have released for spooky season thus far. But like I said, I also picked up the highlighter as well and that one comes in this box right here very similar to the one that the eyeshadow comes in but it's just not quite as sturdy I don't think I'm gonna keep this one but I wanted to show you what it looks like but the actual highlighter itself looks like this and this is the same component that the I believe the good guys highlighter comes in I don't have that one but it looks the exact same but this one I thought was very unique if I can get it open oh my gosh hold on there we go. So this is what the highlighter itself looks like. It has the really cool embossing on it, and it's like a really pretty orange highlighter, very unique to my collection, which is why I picked this one up. It does retail for $18. I haven't swatched it, tried it on, or anything. We are going to do that together, but let's go over the other products in this collection really quick. So this collection does also include a lip kit, which has a lip liner, a lipstick, and a gloss in it. It retails for $22. There are two different mirrors that you can get. So there's the one that's shaped like the knife and there's one that's shaped like Michael Myers' face. And it also includes a bag as well. I will have everything in this collection linked and listed down below in the description box as well as everything that I use in today's video to complete these looks. So per usual, if you're ever curious about anything I use in any of my videos here on my channel, always check the description box. I squeeze as much information as I possibly can into that tiny little space. But let's go ahead and zoom in, prime my eyes, get my hair out of my face, and get into creating these two looks. All right, so before we jump into the eye look, let's go ahead and swatch and try on the highlighter. Now, this is the component that it comes in. I do think it's really cute. Honestly, I prefer the cardboard packaging because this one is plastic and one, it's hard to get open as you noticed, and it does feel a little cheap. It doesn't feel very weighty or anything, but it does kind of fit with the price point, so I can't be mad about it. But I think the highlighter on the inside is absolutely beautiful. So let's do a little swatch right here on the side. So that is what it looks like. Very gold with like an orange flip to it. I don't have a lot of these in my collection, so I thought it was really unique. I like that we got something other than just like an icy flippy highlighter. So I'm excited to try this one on. I'm hoping it's not too deep for my fair skin, but we're about to find out. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this up with my little Wicked Widow the Crow highlighter brush. So I'm just going to go into here like this and we're gonna start by swatching it on the cheek. Oh, that looks really pretty. If you go in really light-handed, it goes on beautifully. It's not glittery or chunky like some other highlighters tend to be. It just has this really pretty glow to it. You can definitely build it up, but I don't think it's gonna be too dark for my skin because you can see that glow when I turn my face, but when I look straight ahead, it completely disappears, and that's what I look for in a highlighter. I just want you to be able to see it when I turn my head. 
All right, so my eyes are primed with my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. Let's dive into this palette and start creating our look. I love this color story. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I think for the first look, I wanna do sort of like an orange and brown fall inspired look. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this kind of mid-tone brown shade up here. This one is called Trick or Treat. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with a Morphe M504 brush. And I'm gonna start by kind of fluffing this into my crease building up a little bit of depth and definition really just kind of giving some shape and definition to the eye like I said so I'm going in kind of light-handed I really just want more of a soft wash of this shade just to kind of have something to start to build this look off of now I do really enjoy the glam light formula for the most part we've had some pretty rocky palettes in the past that don't have the best formula in them but I will say based off of what I have tried from the brand they kill it when it comes to their Halloween collections, no pun intended. So I'm really excited about this one. I haven't had one of their Halloween releases be disappointing. I don't have every single one of them. Um, I did pick up Camp Crystal Lake, which you will see in a video very, very soon, maybe even tomorrow, I think. And I think I'm actually gonna pick up the Trick or Treat palette because Glam Light just announced that they are doing a part two to their ghost face collection, which I'm really excited about. I wasn't going to pick up trick or treat because I'm like, it's end of October. I don't really want to take too much Halloween into November, but I can't resist a ghost face collection. But let's go ahead and move on to our next shade in this palette. So I'm going to go into this orange shade right here. This one is called Halloween Masks. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up with a BK Beauty 206, and I'm gonna start to build up this outer corner a little bit. But like I said, I'm pretty excited. I kind of squealed a little bit whenever I saw what they were doing it because they gave like a little bit of a sneak peek and it looks like they're giving us some reds in that palette. I know many people wanted that last year when they released the Ghost Face palette, myself included, because it's very cool tone, very kind of almost one note. The shimmers are incredible in that palette, but we all wanted a little bit more color and it looks like they're giving it to us. So even if I have to kind of play with it in November, I'm going to pick that one up and I'm going to pick up Trick or Treat along with it. But I'm going to go ahead and bring this shade down onto the outer portion of my lower lash line as well. Just kind of blending it in down here, just kind of making sure it blends in to that shade in my crease. And I'm going to kind of buff it over towards the inner corner. So to deepen up this outer corner, we're gonna go into this really dark brown shade right here. This one is called Haddonfield Memorial Hospital. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that one up with a Singe Beauty E05 brush, and I'm just gonna build up a tiny bit of depth in this outer corner. I don't want it to take over that orange shade that I put down. I just wanna add that depth. And so far, this is giving me exactly what I want. I'm not having any fallout, patching, skipping. The shades are nice and pigmented so far. This is the Glam Light formula that I know and love, but I've also had that experience before with other palettes where I think they're fantastic and then you get to certain shades and they just don't quite do it. All right, so before I go into all over the lid, I wanna bring a little bit more depth with that first shade that I picked up, which is called Trick or Treat. So I'm just going back with a little bit more on that same brush and just kind of putting a little bit more in this inner portion of my crease. I just feel like I need a little bit more pigmentation and I'm just gonna kind of lightly buff it along the edge of that orange shade, just so it's nice and cohesive, it flows, it blends, we don't have anything weird going on. All right, now we can go ahead and dive into some sparkles for all over the lid. So I went ahead and primed my lid with my NYX Glitter Primer per usual. And we're gonna start out by playing with these two shades right here. We might bring this one into the inner corner, but I haven't quite decided yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one, which is called the Relentless Michael Myers. I'm gonna pick that shade up with my BK Beauty 203 brush. I am going to spray this with some MAC Fix Plus, and we're just gonna start by applying this all over my lid. We're gonna kind of press it in, blend it out, and just really build up this shade so I'm just gonna start pressing it all over the leg kind of focusing it more towards the center and kind of over near the outer corner and then we're gonna go back in with that other shade on this other portion that's really pretty I do like this 
All right, so next I want to go into this more gold shimmer shade right here. This one is called Irritated. So I'm going to pick it up with my same BK Beauty 203 brush. I'm just wiping it off really good. I'm going to spray it yet again, and then we're going to pop this on the rest of my lid and maybe bring it into my inner corner. We'll see how dark it is once I start to apply it because I don't like to have anything super dark in my inner corner just because I am very fair it doesn't take much to kind of make it look bruisey or very shadowy and dark in there but that's really pretty i think we're going to bring that into the inner corner all right so we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit more and just kind of bring it over and i'm also going to bring this down onto the lower lash line just that little portion that i didn't bring that orange shade over to so i'm just kind of wrapping this around the inner portion of my lid Ooh, that's pretty all right, y'all, so this is the first completed look with this palette, and I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. It is more like fall neutral with just a little pop of color. Of course, I could have gone in with just black or brown liner and kept it very neutral, but I figured since it was Halloween, let's throw on a little bit of a wing with a fun pop of color. Now, I am by no means the queen of the wing, but I do think that this one came out pretty decently, actually. But let's go over what I used to finish off this look so we can start creating our second look with this palette. So to line my waterline and my lid, I went in with one of my Martine Cosmetics eyeliners this is in the shade orange and then for mascara i went in with my city beauty beyond mascara but let's do our second look because we're going to play with these blues in here and i think we're actually going to kind of start with this cool tone brown right here it's not a gray it's just a very cool tone brown shade that one is called i always wear a mask so i'm going to go ahead and pick that one up with a bk beauty 201 brush and we're going to start by fluffing this into my crease so kind of the same thing that i did with the first look but we're going to use different color so I'm gonna go in very light-handed just kind of building it up in my crease fluffing it out blending it out just kind of dispersing that color very evenly Next, we're going to go into this bright blue shade down here. This one is called Angry. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up with a Singe Beauty EO6 brush, and we're going to start building up my outer corner. So I'm going to start by kind of pressing this out here, building up the pigmentation, the depth, the shape that I want. And once I have that shade down, I can go back and start to blend it. Now, this shade seems to be a little bit more buildable in pigmentation. I'm sure if you were to really kind of dig in and go in heavy-handed, it would probably be more pigmented right off the bat but I like to kind of go in a little light-handed just so I can avoid any fallout and have a little bit more control over the shade and the depth that I want but that is really pretty I'm not having any issues as far as patching or skipping or fallout goes I'm going to bring that shade down onto the very outer portion of my lower lash line as well just making sure that I keep all of my depth on that very outer portion and then once I have this down and kind of blended out a little bit we're going to go in with another shade so what I'm actually going to do is go in with this really pretty like gray blue shade up here it's almost like a slate blue this one is called guilty and I'm going to go ahead and pick that one up with a singe beauty or I'm sorry a sigma beauty e45 and I'm going to start to blend this along the rest of my lower lash line sometimes singe and sigma can be a little interchangeable in my mind i know that they're different but you have to excuse me if i mix them up a little bit but we're just going to blend that down here kind of wrapping it around bringing it over underneath that dark blue shade and just making sure that everything is nice and seamless all right, so next I want to go into this black shade right here and build up a little bit of depth in my outer corner. You could go in with this lighter kind of black and gray shade right here if you don't want to add too much depth, but we're going to go in with this black and see if it's a good black from the brand. Glam Light can do a really good black when they're on their game. So I'm going to pick that up with a Morphe M506 brush. And as always, I am just very lightly going to pack it right here in my outer corner. Yep, that is nice and pigmented. It's going on beautifully. I'm just keeping it right here in my outer corner, just like I do in most of my looks. I don't like to bring my depth very far over. I just like that little bit out here kind of wrapped around onto my lower lash line as well. All right, NYX Glitter Primer is on. Let's put some shimmer on this lid. So I wanna go in with this shade up here, this really pretty multi-chrome. It has like this really cool like brown to blue to teal flip to it. This one is called He's Back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up with my BK Beauty 203 brush. I just wiped it off per usual. I am going to spray it and we're gonna put this all over the lid. And if I need to bring in something to kind of blend the outer corner into the shimmer a little bit better, I can. But we're gonna start here here 
So I'm just gonna start by pressing it all over my lid. I am gonna bring it all the way over to the inner corner, but I'm not gonna put it in the inner corner because I think we're gonna go in with that really pretty white iridescent shimmer shade for in there. But I'm just going to press and blend and just kind of make sure everything is nice and soft. All right, so this is what we're looking like, and I think it blended pretty good, but I wanna blend it just a little bit better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade down here. This one is almost like a duochrome. It has like a blue teal flip to it, whereas this one is more of a true blue. So I'm gonna go in with this one, which is called Killing It Since 78. I'm gonna pick it up with that same brush that I just used. I'm gonna spray it once again, and I am just lightly going to kind of blend this right where that matte and that shimmer meet just because it's a little bit darker it's going to give us a little less contrast and more of a blend yep just like that all right, let's go ahead and finish up this look with this shade right here in the inner corner. This one is called One Good Scare. So I'm gonna pick that up with a Singe Beauty E01 brush, spray it per usual, and we're gonna pop this in the inner corner. I'm also gonna kind of blend it down onto my lower lash line, blend it up onto my lid, just so everything blends together. And that is going to complete our second look with this palette. I like this look. I think it might be my favorite of the two. I'm really loving the cool tone blues in the crease with that teal multi-chrome all over the lid. And I think that white iridescent in the inner corner really brought this look to life. But let's go over everything that I used to finish up this look so we can turn the lights down and we can see the shimmer, the shift, the sparkle, and then close out this video. So in my lower waterline, I went in with a Juvia's Place, what is this called? The Nubian Eyeliner. This is in the shade Royal. I Lined my lid with my ZC liquid liner and then finished everything off with my City Beauty Beyond Mascara. All right, y'all, so based off of the products that I picked up from the Halloween 2 collection, I think Glamlight nailed it. They did a fantastic job with the packaging, the theming, the color stories, even the formula I thought was incredible. This is the good Glamlight that I know and love. The highlighter I thought was beautiful. I do wish this was the cardboard packaging. Like I said, this feels a little cheap. It's hard to open, but it's only an $18 highlighter, so I can't be too picky. I do appreciate that there's a mirror in here, but I like the color. I think it's very unique. It's something different from them. I feel like they always want to give us like a silver icy kind of sparkly glittery highlighter and appreciate that we got more like a gold orange shade. I know that the one in the Friday the 13th collection has a blue flip to it. I do have that one sitting over here. I haven't played with it yet. I'm going to play with it when I play with the um, Camp Crystal Lake palette but I think this is beautiful. I like how smooth it is. It's reflective. It doesn't look chunky or glittery on my cheek. I didn't get pieces of glitter flying everywhere. I really like this highlighter I can see me getting a lot of use out of this one more than just this time of year but the eyeshadow palette I love the eyeshadow palette I love the lenticular motion that they give us on all of their spooky releases and honestly most of their palettes lately but the color story in here I think is beautiful it is very fall neutral with some pops of cool tone blues in here you can 100% get a very neutral look with this palette you can get something very bold you can kind of tone it down blue and brown are beautiful together as well the color selection with the mattes is fantastic. I really like the depth that they gave us with this palette. Glamlight isn't really known for giving us a lot of lighter shades. We don't have anything super light in here when it comes to the mattes, but as you can see, you can take these two shades right here and really go in lightly handed, blow them out, and get a really light wash of the shade, so I appreciate that. I didn't get any patching, skipping. I got minimal fallout with this dark black shade right now, not the dark black, the dark brown right here in this outer corner, but it did fluff away. It didn't make a big old mess. The shimmers in here I thought were beautiful as well. They are so smooth, so reflective, just very beautiful on the lid. They're not emphasizing texture. They're not laying funny or feeling heavy or anything like that. Now I didn't get to everything in this palette. I think I still have one matte shade and then just the two shimmers I didn't get to, or is it one shimmer and two mattes? Let me see. One matte and two shimmers, that's what it is. I didn't get to these two shimmers and I didn't get to the one matte shade. So I don't really feel like I'm gonna have any issues with those, but I will keep y'all posted any future um, 
palette ranking video, I completely lost my train of thought. I will keep y'all updated in a future palette ranking video as to my final thoughts on this palette. But based off of this, I really like this. I like the color story in here. I like the packaging. I like the theming. I like the formula. Like I said, I think they did a great job, but that is going to complete this video. Let me know all of your thoughts down below. Did you pick anything up from this collection? Which look was your favorite? What is your favorite franchise that they have done thus far? I want to know it all. Let's have that conversation. Light up that comment section. And as usual, I want to thank you all so, so much for watching my video and spending your time with me. It truly does mean so, so much to me. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up before you leave. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of all my future posts here on my channel. I do post quite a few videos every single week and I wouldn't want you to miss one. But until my next video, have a good one. Bye.